All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to discuss the difference between single quotes and double quotes with strings. Um, say we wanted to add uh, a parameter to this h2 tag. Um, we'll put in a style. And we'll just, we're going to toss in just a little bit of CSS inline here. Um, now the proper way to do this in HTML would be to put a double quote here and put our, our CSS between the double quotes. And as you can see Dreamweaver is already telling us by this coloration change here that something is not right. And the reason is is that when PHP reads this it's saying okay well this is the opening um, of the string and well this must be the end of the string. And then everything after this, uh, PHP reads as gibberish, and it's going to return an error. So, this isn't good. The first way we can combat this would be we can escape the character. And what escaping a character is, is it's telling um, the browser, uh, hey, hold on a minute, take this for what it is, and move on. Um, and we're going to do that for each one of these double quotes here. And the way you escape a character is with the backslash. Now the backslash is not going to be seen. PHP knows this is a character that's used for escaping. So it's going to say, okay, we're going to escape the next character. And this is the next character. And we need to do that each time we're going to use quotes. So let's go ahead and put our style in here. And we'll just make the... Um, text color a dark gray. Alright, now we're going to look at the the other way to combat this and that's to use single quotes. So we're going to go ahead and make another variable. And no programming um, tutorial would be complete without the hello world reference. Um, so let's go ahead and make another echo statement. And this time we're going to make this string uh, within single quotes. And what single quotes is going to do is it's going to read everything literally. So I'm going to type in hello and then the variable hello. So what we would hope for is that the PHP is going to spit out hello followed by the value of the hello variable which is world. Um, however since single quotes um, take strings literally uh, we'll see what happens here when I save and upload and this is what happens it's taking the um, text literally so it's not it's not reading this as a variable it's displaying exactly what we typed in the benefit of this however is with our style or attribute here now it's going to take our um, double quotes literally and they're not going to affect anything because it's not looking for another double quote to end the uh, statement here. It's looking for another single quote. So, this here will be successful, at least the uh, coloring if we save and upload. Um, but we still have our issue with the variable. And this brings me to another technique, which is called concatenation. And what we can do here is we can tell this echo statement that we want to we want to take a break really quick, and we'll put a single quote in. And so Petri is going to read this as the end and give us an error. However, we can put a period here, which is saying, "All right, concatenate or add to the hello variable," and then we'll end the concatenation. Um, and put another single quote. So how PHP is reading this is it's saying echo this statement here, stop for a second, spit out the value of hello, and then continue on with the statement, and then end the statement here. So now if we go ahead and save and upload, we get the actual value of the variable. Um, and 
there are benefits to using both types here. Um, if you're just outputting something where there's not going to be a bunch of double quotes um, or attributes, things like that, then using the double quote method is perfectly acceptable, especially if you have a lot of variables. Then you can just type the variables in and it's going to read it and, and, and know to spit out the value of the variable instead of the variable name. However, when you're doing a bunch of uh, HTML code that has tons of attributes, um, it might be easier for you to um, use the single quote method rather than going through every single um, double quote and escaping it. Um, there's a lot of room for error there. And in which case, you can just get used to the fact that whenever you're going to put a variable in, you're going to use this method here, which I believe is way easier than going through and escaping all those uh, quotes. And uh, lastly, before we move on to the next portion of this tutorial or series, is I just want to show you what I meant by using multiple PHP blocks. Um, you can take advantage of these blocks by um, say you wanted to do some HTML but you didn't have to worry about this whole echo uh, concept we could accomplish this same line here by doing this now we can toss in some PHP here in line with this uh, this HTML so we open up our PHP block and uh, we're going to say echo hello and then close our PHP block now this is going to give us the exact same result as above so save and upload and there you have it um, so what you're seeing is there's multiple different ways to accomplish some of these things. Um, if you feel like, you know, just doing everything straight up HTML and just tossing in variable names like this, you know, do it this way. Um, you'll find that in uh, bigger applications you might find yourself using all 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 these methods here um, in various spots on a page. Using this inline method is nice. However, you do not need to do this if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste it down here. We could cut everything up as such. And if this uh, makes you feel better about how your page looks and you can read it better, go for it. Um, so if we save and upload, then well, we're going to see three of these lines here identically. there you go so a lot of this just depends on how you want to do it and you know whatever is the most effective way and efficient way to do it at the time for what you're doing um, we're gonna sneak in one more thing um, I'm gonna show you a, a you know trick and maybe uh, maybe get your brain rolling on why some of these things are, are cool um, we're gonna go ahead and swap out this color here with a variable and see PHP reads the document from top to bottom so things that happen up here can change down here if you want them to so for instance let's go ahead and we'll make a variable called my color and it'll be a string and we'll just say red and we're going to insert a variable here or concatenate a variable that is so now we should get the same result because it's going to spit out red right here or the word red and we can do the same down here where we can go ahead and remove this add in another line of PHP echo my color and then close the PHP and let's go ahead and copy this here and 
paste it down here. So if we save and upload, we should not see any change. Sorry, I didn't catch that. This should be equals. Um, now, if we save and upload, and there, there you have it, no change. So, why did I do this, you ask? Well, I want to give you an example on on how the PHP is read when the browser loads, or when the page refreshes. We can redefine this variable further down the document. So, we're going to say my color. Equals green. So what's going to happen is two things could happen if you think about it. Either the page is going to load and it's going to read that this is supposed to be red, but then before the end of the page it's supposed to be green, so everything would take the color green. That's one way you could think that this would would go. The correct way though is that this is going to read red, output red, then read green, and then output green for the remainder of the document. So save and upload. There you go. So now you get an idea kind of uh, how, how the page is read. Um, in the next part we're going to move into some more uh, advanced topics. Thank you.